What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Totaler here, and today I'm making a Maple Story training guide for all classes from level 1 to level 100. Once again, this training guide is for all classes, so no matter what job you are in Maple Story, you'll be able to use this guide. And one more thing before we start, if you're only looking for information on how to level in a certain level range, you could click the level range annotation and it will bring you to where you want to go. Alright, so let's get this training guide started. From level 1 to level 10, you're going to want to do the tutorial quests on your character. Also, some of the newer characters have the option to skip the tutorial quests, and that will bring you instantly to level 10, so you should do that if you have the chance. Alright, so from level 10 to level 14, you're gonna want to go to Blue Ribbon Pigs. Blue Ribbon Pigs are level 13 monsters with 200 HP and 23 EXP per kill, and they're also in a really nice flat map that you could easily train very fast on. From level 14 to level 18, you're gonna want to go to Yellow Starfish. Yellow Starfish are level 17 monsters that have 275 HP, and they give out 28 EXP. EXP per kill. They're on a pretty unique map with like three layers and it's pretty good to train on. From level 18 to level 24, you're going to want to go to Cool Jellyfish. Cool Jellyfish are cool monsters, and they're level 24, and they have 580 HP, and they give out 56 EXP per kill. Cool Jellyfish have a whole bunch of platforms on their map, so it's very good for long-range characters, but it's also good for short-range characters. From level 24 to level 30, you're going to want to go to Flaming Mixed Golems. Flaming Mixed Golems are level 28 monsters with 720 HP, and they give out 63 EXP per kill. Flaming Mixed Golems are on a decent sized map with really good spawns, so you're going to be leveling up very fast here. Then once you reach level 30, you're going to want to go do the Mushroom Kingdom quest line. The Mushroom Kingdom quest line has loads of monsters and quests that level you up extremely fast, and it also has a nice storyline behind it. So if you're one of those people that likes to train in a training spot that has a story, this is the spot for you. From level 38 to level 46, you should go to CDs. CDs have two different kinds of monsters. One of them is level 46, and it has 2,520 HP, and it gives 116 EXP per kill. And the other one is level 47, and that one has two. 2640 HP and it gives 119 EXP per kill. This map has two flat platforms with great spawns, so it's going to be great for all jobs. From level 46 to level 55, you're going to want to go to White Fangs and El Nath. White Fangs are level 55 monsters with 4000 HP and they give 156 EXP per kill. I like the White Fangs map because it has those teleporters at the top and the bottom of the map, so that map is very easy to train on. You could easily teleport from the top to the bottom, and then you could just jump down the platforms and easily wipe them out, and it turns out to be very fast for training. Then, from level 55 to level 65, you're going to want to go to Toy Trojans and Ludibridium. Toy Trojans are level 67 monsters with 8,500 HP, and they give 263 EXP per kill. Toy Trojans are in a pretty small map where the monsters are all pretty grouped up together, so it's very easy to wipe them all out and get loads of EXP very fast. Then from level 65 to level 80, you're going to want to go to Scorpions and Sand Rats in the Desert. Scorpions are level 81 monsters with 27,000 HP and they give 650 EXP per kill. And Sand Rats are level 77 monsters with 19,000 HP and they give 487 EXP per kill. My favorite map to train at these guys are Sahil Desert 2 because it's a really flat map and flat maps are generally the best kind of maps in Maple Story to train at because it allows you to just easily go in a straight line and kill everything and get the fastest EXP possible. From level 80 to level 90, you're going to want to go train at Roids. Roids are level 88 monsters with 41,000 HP and they give 917 EXP per kill. Roids, once again, like most other training spots in this guide, are in a flat map, and flat maps, as usual, yield great EXP. So Roids are another great training spot. And last but not least, from level 90 to level 100, you're going to want to train at Captain and Crew. Captains are level 105 monsters with 75,000 HP, and they give 1,495 EXP. And crews are level 103 monsters with 71,000 HP, and they give 1,431 EXP per kill. Captains and crews are in a two-platform map, and there's also a mini dungeon in the middle of the map if you want to go train in the mini dungeon. Captains and crew have nice spawns, so these levels are going to go by in a breeze. And that's how you train in Maple Story from level 1 to level 100. If this video helped you, remember to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe for more awesome Maple Story content. As always, thanks for watching the video and see you guys next time.